Welcome back to Bee Pharma Vibes. Today we are going to discuss about isomerism. If you are studying organic chemistry, you may surely come across this part that is isomerism and you may have seen the molecules whose molecular formula is the same but still their physical and chemical properties differ from each other. So such molecules which are uh, having the similar molecular formula but different physical and chemical properties are termed as isomers and this phenomenon is called as isomerism. So uh, why isomerism uh, has come into picture? Because uh, see suppose I am having two carbon atoms, uh, six hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. Huh? Suppose I am having two carbon, six hydrogens and one oxygen. Then depending on how I am going to arrange these atoms, I may come up with different molecules. For example, somebody using the same set of atoms may form CH3O, CH3, dimethyl ether. And somebody may form CH3, CH2, OH, which is ethanol, means an alcohol. Now, if you look at the chemical classes, one is ether, one is alcohol. So, definitely their physical and chemical properties will be different from each other. But they both are sharing the common molecular formula. So, such compounds which are having similar molecular formula but different physical and chemical properties are called as isomers of each other. And this phenomenon is called as isomerism. Now, uh, talking about why this isomerism happens, so this happens basically due to different arrangement of atoms. Huh? So, arrangement of atoms can be of two types. First, without reference to space within the molecule and second, with reference to space means the three-dimensional arrangement. So, depending on how you are going to arrange the atoms from the same set of atoms, your isomerism is divided into two parts. First part will be called as constitutional isomers. Constitutional isomers or constitutional isomerism which is also called as structural isomerism. Hmm? Now what are constitutional isomers? These are the compounds which have similar molecular formula. Molecular formula will be similar but the arrangement of atoms within the molecule without reference to space will be different huh? and the physical and chemical properties will always be different. So such compounds which are having similar molecular formula but different arrangement of atoms within the molecule without reference to space. They will be termed as constitutional isomers or structural isomers. And the second type is where the compounds will be having similar molecular formula but different arrangement of atoms with reference to space. Means their three dimensional arrangement is going to be different. Such isomers will be called as a stereo isomers of each other and the phenomenon will be called as stereo isomerism. Geometrical isomers and optical isomers are the types of stereo isomers. But in this video, I will be focusing on the first part which is constitutional isomerism or structural isomerism. So let's start with the discussion of types of constitutional or structural isomerism. As I told you, structural isomerism or structural isomers will have similar molecular formula but different arrangement of atoms within the molecule without reference to space. In simple words, they will be having similar molecular formula but different structural formulae. So based on this, they are divided into five types. First type is called as chain isomers of each other. Now what are chain isomers? I will give you one example. Suppose I am having 5 atoms of carbon and 12 atoms of hydrogen. So from this set of atoms, I can either form N-pentane or I can form isopentane. If you look at the structures of n-pentane and isopentane, it is obvious that this structure is a straight chain alkane and this structure is a branched chain alkane. So their pattern of 
chain is different. Such isomers, both of them are having similar molecular formula, but n-pentane and uh, isopentane will have different physical properties. Their melting point, boiling point will be different. Their chemical properties will be different. So they are isomers of each other. Are you getting it? Same molecular formula, different physical and chemical properties. They are isomers. Now, which type of isomers they are? Look at the structure. Similar arrange, similar molecular formula, but <coughs> sorry. Different arrangement of atoms within the molecule, isn't it? Without reference to space, there is nothing three-dimensional we are speaking here. So, without reference to space, their arrangement is different. And in specific, their chain pattern is different. So, such isomers fall under the category of chain isomers. I hope it is clear. Moving on to second type. Second type is called as position isomers. Now, what are position isomers? When you hear the word position isomers, your thought process should go like this. Position isomers is a type of structural isomerism. So, they will be having same molecular formula, different structural formula. Now, position of whose? Position of functional group. Means they should have the same functional group, but the position of functional group must be different. So now uh, let's take an example of uh, say butene. So if I write like this 1, 2, 3, 4 and here it is a double bond. So this structure is 1-butene and I write this structure which is 2-butene. So see both of them will have the same molecular formula. Both of them are butene. What is the functional group? Double bond. So functional group in both of them is the same. Only difference is the position of functional group. In the first molecule, double bond is positioned at carbon number 1. And in second molecule, it is positioned at carbon number 2. Similarly, I will give you another example. 1, 2, 3, OH. This is 1 propanol. And 1, 2, 3, OH. This is 2 propanol C. Sorry. Both of them will have similar molecular formula. Both of them are having similar functional group. The only difference is position of functional group. Here it is on first carbon, here it is on second carbon. So what you will remember in position isomerism is position of functional group will be different. Same molecular formula, different structural formula where the position of functional group will be different from each other. Okay, moving on to next. It is functional isomerism or functional isomers. See now, don't get confused between position and functional isomers. What are functional isomers? They are the compounds with similar molecular formula, different structural formula and their functional groups will be different. Remember the example I took in the start. CH3O, CH3. It is ether. And CH3, CH2, OH, it is ethanol. Both of them have same molecular formula C2H6O, but their functional group is totally different. One is ether, one is alcohol. So such compounds which are having same molecular formula, but different functional groups. Here in positions, functional groups will be same. Only the position of functional group will be different. But in functional, functional groups are different. Huh? So, ether and alcohol, they are functional isomers of each other. Mm, then, uh, if you want to take one more example, C. What is this? CH3COOH. This is acetic acid, a carboxylic acid. And second, you take HCOOCH3. This is methyl formate, which is an ester. So, if you look at the structures, the molecular formula is same. So, carboxylic acid and ester with the same molecular formula. So, functional groups are different. Such compounds will be termed functional isomers of each other. The next type, the next type is called as metamerism. Now, what, are, what is metamerism or metamers? These are um, special kind of compounds or uh, isomers where there will be unequal distribution of carbon atoms on either sides of functional group. I will give you an example. Look here. CH3, CH2O, CH3, 
अरेंजमेंट ऑफ कार्बन एटम्स ऑन आइडल साइड ऑफ फंक्शनल ग्रुप इज द फंक्शनल ग्रुप दिस इज द फंक्शनल ग्रुप लुक एट द अरेजमेंट ऑफ कार्बन एटम्स हियर देर आर टू कार्बन हियर देर आर टू कार्बन नाउ आई विल राइट सेम मॉलिकुलर फॉर्म्यूला डिफरेंट स्ट्रक्चरल फॉर्म्यूला कंपाउंड फॉर दिस सो आई विल राइट सी एच थ्री ओ सी एच टू सी एच टू सी एच थ्री दिस इज मिथिल प्रोपिल इथर नाउ मॉलिकुलर फॉर्म्यूला इज सेम बट इफ यू लुक एट द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ कार्बन एटम्स ऑन आइडर साइड ऑफ फंक्शनल ग्रुप इट इज डिफरेंट here it is 2 2 here it is 1 3 so similar molecular formula but unequal distribution of carbon atoms on either sides of a functional group such compounds will be called as metamers of each other and let's move on to the last type of structural isomerism which is the fifth one is tautomerism Now, what is tautomerism? It is again a special kind of isomerism where keto and enol forms are existing in dynamic equilibrium with each other. Now, what is a keto form? What is enol form? Let's discuss. So, when I say keto form of tautomers, it must have C double bond O means keto functional group along with CH two group. Now this, as this is a carbonyl carbon, this is carbonyl oxygen. This becomes alpha carbon. It is having two alpha hydrogens. This form is called as keto form because it has ketone functional group. Huh? Now what happens? See here, one of the alpha hydrogens on alpha carbon gets shifted to carbonyl oxygen. When the hydrogen shifts to carbonyl oxygen, oxygen forms a bond with it, so it forms OH C. Hmm? Now what happens? Oxygen can only form two bonds because the valence of oxygen is two. So this double bond breaks and the electrons come down to carbon. Now this carbon has also lost one hydrogen, and now this carbon is having a pair of electrons. So both of them will form a double bond, and the structure will look like this. So what has happened is C double bond O is converted to COH, huh? and single bond CH two has converted to double bond CH. So if you look at this structure carefully, you will observe it contains two functional groups. One is OH and one is double bond. How we write the double bond? We use the suffix in, huh? and how we uh, write hydroxyl group? We uh, call it ol. Propanol, butanol, alcohol. So in all, so this kind of structure will be called as enol structure, and this kind of structure will be called as keto structure. So if your uh, compounds are dynamically equilibrating between these keto and enol forms, means uh, in some forms there is this arrangement, in some forms there is this arrangement, then that will be called as tautomerism. So tautomerism is a special kind of isomerism where keto and enol structures will be present in dynamic equilibrium with each other. So these are the five types of structural or constitutional isomerism. Let's revise in a minute. Isomerism is a phenomenon where two compounds are having similar molecular formula. but different physical and chemical properties isomers can be of two types constitutional isomers or structural isomers and stereo isomers constitutional isomers will be the compounds having same molecular formula but different arrangement of atoms within the molecule without reference to space stereo isomers will be isomers having same molecular formula but different arrangement of atoms with reference to space constitutional isomers are of five types first is chain isomers where the molecular formula is same but the pattern of chains will be different for example n pentane isopentane second one position isomers where the compounds will be having same molecular formula but the position of functional group will be different remember here the functional group will be same so examples you can take 1 butene 2 butene or 1 butanol 2 butanol third functional isomers 
these are the compounds having same molecular formula but different functional groups means the functional groups are going to be different example dimethyl ether and ethyl alcohol fourth type is metamerism these are the compounds where there will be unequal distribution of carbon atoms on either sides of functional group and fifth is tautomerism this is a special kind of isomerism where the keto and enol form will uh, equilibrate in or will be present in dynamic equilibrium so these five are the types of structural isomerisms i hope i have covered it briefly but comprehensively so uh, let's meet in the next video with the details of stereoisomerism keep watching keep studying bye